Hi, if you've recently lost a masculine energy, they came through heavy in the last few readings and they're dominating this reading again. So if this is you, this reading is for you. The first card that came out was tenderness. And this is saying that you are surrounded with affection. So this masculine energy, and it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a female who carried or embodied the masculine energy. But anyhow, this person surrounded you with affection. This is a person who had a great deal of love for you. And with the two swords here, I'm seeing that this person was very protective over you. They wanted to protect you from the harshness of life. They wanted to protect you so much that you inspired them to work hard. And they saved a lot here. And they passed it on to you. This is an inheritance. Now, inheritance doesn't always have to be money. Inheritance could be your spiritual inheritance, your DNA. Our inheritance is within us. And we will continue to live on and take actions that our parents did because that is active in our DNA. This is the Five of Cups, and this card is representing an inheritance and a happy relationship with one's parents. It's also a warning to protect your inheritance. This card is representing you, which is a sincere girl, and that's who this person had so much love and affection for. This card is representing the last judgment, which is the last judgment that this person had left an inheritance or something for you and this is their gift to you and this card is a card of devotion and understanding and there could have been some suspicion or foolishness in the situation but this card is reminding you that whatever your judgment is it is correct whatever your thoughts are are correct and it's telling you to stick to your correct thoughts the card that's under the deck usually represents what is hidden. And this is a card that was under the deck when I flipped it over. So contract agreement, which piggybacks on inheritance. So there's a soul agreement. If your inheritance is your DNA, there's a soul agreement there. If it's money, there's a contract there. This card signifies that you are much sought after in parties and you're an animated person. You have animation in you. When you talk, you gain the attention of the room because you just have this magnetism that draws people to you. This is also telling you that you're going to sign an agreement, which will be very profitable for you. For a woman, this could be a possible pregnancy. But for you, be careful and prudent in your transactions. You will make a lot of money, but you need to make sure you read over everything. They say the devil's in the details because he's sneaky and he's not going to appear as a red-faced horned person. He's going to appear as something so close to the truth that it's one detail off that he tries to catch you slipping. So be cautious of the details in contracts.